from the Storm Tracker 12 Weather Center. This is Ahead of the Storm, a severe weather special. Good evening and welcome to our ABC 12 News weather special ahead of the storm. I'm meteorologist J.R. Kurtek. And I'm meteorologist Brad Sugden. We will be joined by Storm Tracker 12 meteorologist Christina Burkhart and Kevin Goff in just a little bit. But first, Mother Nature sure has been fickle so far <laughs> this spring. As you're well aware, we've already had a few just handfuls of warm days scattered throughout the past few months. Thunderstorms have been in short supply as well. And the snow, just a short while ago, how can you forget it? <laughs> well, we just as soon forget it. But sooner rather than later, all of that mess is going to be sorted out. Uh, but it is those big clashes of contrasting air masses that can lead to the development of strong to severe thunderstorms. And that's why we are here tonight to help you and your family get ready for a severe weather season. And while we have been producing this show for several years for you, this is the first time we're putting it together from the Storm Tracker 12 Weather Center. Here's Brad to tell you what that will mean for you this severe weather season. Well, under our new Storm Tracker 12 brand, we have many, many tools that will keep you safe during severe weather. And the list is quite lengthy, actually. Some of these little newer, some of them are just upgraded from what we had a couple of months ago and throughout the course of last year. Here's one of them, and of course, the big one is Doppler radar. We have dual polarization, which means horizontal and vertical cross sections of storms. And here's a look at a live radar right now out in Nebraska. You're very common seeing this. We have showers pass through here all the time, and of course, thunder storm so I think everyone kind of knows the general gist of radar but we can tell other things from it and that's why it is such an important tool like last year when we had the microburst out over flushing we could see the pinks and purples made a donut shape on the radar which means the wind was rushing out another cool thing we can do with the radar is there's a bunch of tools embedded in it where we can track the storm and pinpoint the time of arrival as it moves towards your community towards your neighborhood but also it's good for just those little nuisance pop-up style showers and storms that we are very accustomed to here in Michigan throughout the course of the year. But we can do a lot more with the radar because of dual pole technology. Notice we can track the winds, and this was incredibly important just a couple of years ago. This is a recap of the tornado that hit Vernon, Duran, over toward the Perry area in Shiawassee County. When you have those reds and greens, which is wind, going away from or toward the radar, when they're very close together, we can see it spin. So seeing the wind in the radar is very, very important because when we see those kinds of signatures, we can tell you that there is likely a tornado headed your way. Let's keep going. We have Hail Tracker. This was a hail cell that I was just kind of looking at the other day out in Kansas, and it grew and grew, and notice the tracker there at the top. We can tell the hail size for you as it's headed towards your community as well. And this one in Kansas started to go into the green, which is between one and two inch hail diameter, which is large, and that's what made it a severe storm out there. One of the most dire things that we fear, feature here in Michigan, though, is lightning. That's very, very dangerous when we're out doing so much, enjoying our beautiful state. So we can turn lightning on on the radar. You see all those lightning bolts pop up as we start to track those storms for you throughout the summertime. We can tell you the number. We can tell you cloud to ground strikes. So that's very, very important when we're keeping you safe, especially during the open waters. This was one last year when the poor tip of the thumb in Port Austin got a brunt of our severe weather throughout the year. So that's very helpful because when your beach day looks like this, and then turns into this, we can let you know that there is lightning. And even on the Doppler 12 or the radar weather app, we can keep you up to date on all of that and let you know that there's danger out there. So again, we have lots and lots of tools to help keep you safe during a severe weather season. And let's fix that fumble. We have another important tool that you can use. You can carry it right in your pocket. You can just go to and download our free Storm Tracker 12 weather app. That's in Google Play or the Apple Store. It includes things like an hour by hour forecast, future track radar, storm tracks, hail and lightning detection, and it'll show you where rotating thunderstorms are located. All things that when you see them, you should get inside and tune into ABC 12. You can even program it to follow you around as well. This will give you severe weather alerts when you travel anywhere in the country. And as always, we want to suggest that you get a NOAA weather radio for your home. We've had to suspend our radio events the past couple of years due to the pandemic. Hopefully we'll get to see everyone again next spring. But these programmable radios are the quickest way for you to receive weather warnings. And they will act like an alarm clock when warnings are issued while you're sleeping. In fact, those weather radios and our app will not only alert you to warnings, 
but to watches as well. So let's go back just a little bit. It's always good to get the basics down. A watch is issued by the Storm Prediction Center in Norman, Oklahoma. Now, whether it's for a severe thunderstorm or a tornado, what that means is that there is risk of hazardous weather to develop. And these are issued several hours in advance of when we expect severe weather to occur. So that gives us a chance to plan. It gives us a chance to think about what we're going to do in the event that severe weather threatens. Now, when severe weather threatens, the local National Weather Service offices issue a warning. That means a severe weather event is occurring, imminent, or likely. That means it's no longer time to plan, it's time to take action. And of course, that means when you're at home, you'll want to get to an interior room away from windows. Put as many walls between you and the outside as possible. You'll especially want to stay away from those big door walls, typically those big glass doors that you take to get out onto your deck or patio. So certainly stay away from those. Get to the lowest level of whatever structure you're in. Of course, as always, the safest place is your basement. But even when you go down into the basement, you want to take precautions to protect your head. Maybe go underneath the staircase itself. And whatever you do, again, lowest level with every structure, and put as many walls between you and the outside as possible. Well, right now we have some exciting news to share with you. As you may or may not know, ABC 12 underwent an ownership change in the last year. The exciting part for us here in the Weather Center is that it turns out now the Weather Channel is our sister station. And while we are hoping to grow this relationship moving forward, tonight meteorologist Chris Warren from the Weather Channel is stopping by with some important words and a unique look at flooding, the most costly and impactful weather type we see year in and year out. Every thunderstorm begins with a single raindrop, but trillions can follow and all that water rushes downhill. The early makings of a disaster, and it doesn't need to be raining where you are. A street like this in a valley can funnel the water, creating a dangerous setup for a flash flood. Heavy rainfall is the main ingredient in flash flooding. Other factors include building in a flood zone, improper drainage, and ground that's just too wet and can't absorb any more water. And this happens fast. Now look at the street. The water is business to business here, wall to wall. Whoa, what's this guy doing? And this water is about six inches now, and it's enough to stall vehicles, even float vehicles. In some cases, you're going to lose control, and you don't want to be this guy. So if you come to a street that's flooded, turn around, don't drown. More than half of the deaths from flooding each year occur in vehicles. And the water's still rising here. In fact, it's enough to float pretty much anything away that's not bolted down at two feet. It's going to carry you away. Uh, even cars like this, oh my gosh, look at this. This is an SUV, and the water is high enough now to carry SUVs and pickup trucks. And this water is well inside these businesses, and this is scary, this is bad. That's not good to see something like that. We're talking some immense destruction with the force of this water. It can carry debris for miles, entire trees. In fact, water flowing at just 10 miles an hour can produce the same force as winds blowing at 300 miles an hour. Look at this. This is a huge log coming down the road and so scary. You never know it's even in the water, but you can see some of the larger objects, including a truck right here. Absolutely life-threatening situations that come with flash flooding. And unfortunately, more heavy rain events are occurring due to our warming climate. So you are more likely to be caught in this situation. If you ever do get stuck in a flash flood, try to stay calm. Get as high as possible and make yourself visible while you wait for first responders. Heavy rain events are predicted to be 40% more common for parts of the country within this century. Just as quickly as the water came up, it goes down leaving behind a muddy mess of debris and dangers like sharp objects, hazardous waste, also a big concern, and down power lines. So follow the forecast. And remember, when a road is flooded, always, always turn around. Don't drown. It's getting a little iffy there for Chris. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Uh, we'll have more useful uh, severe weather information coming up. But first, it's time to start enjoying our great and inland lakes. Brad will be back to tell you what impact even bigger bodies of water could have 
on our summer weather outlook. Plus, meteorologist Christina Burkhardt shows us a nearly hidden hazard you need to know about so you and your family can enjoy the beach and lakes safely. Did you know, on average, Michigan experiences 16 tornadoes per year?